On a rainy day in Blacksburg, Virginia, Virginia Tech plays host to a fifth-ranked Syracuse Orange squad in both teams' third ACC contests of the year. Tech's going to be big with a lot of one-on-one -on -one athletes for Syracuse so far this year. Casey Benoit on the outside of the 12, dodging to her left. Now to the inside, dumping it to the back of the net. An easy goal to open things up. It's Maddie Baxter to tuck one away. And Syracuse is up 1-0 less than a minute into the contest. Just missing was Olivia Adamson. Another Tawaraton watch list member. Here's Ward with her back to the crease. Spins around, dumps it low, and punches it in. Emma Ward, the senior out of Babylon, New York, making her 10th goal of the year. Being around, Tyrell dumps it off to the top of the 12. Syracuse with such clean passing in the offensive third. Shot from distance and piping it away in the top corner. What a shot for Syracuse. Natalie Smith with her first goal of the game. Make it 16 on the season, and she makes it 3-0 Cuse early on. Six of 10 on free positions this year is Smith. She elects to pass it across the crease. Open shot and tucking it away. Too easy for Olivia Adamson. Maddie Baxter with the ball. 42 seconds to go here. Just one of two in free positions this year. Cocks it, rocks it, and tucks it away. Baxter goes five hole, and Syracuse is up five through the first quarter. Emma Muchnick for Syracuse looking to get her first goal. Emma Ward now from center X, dodges to the top of the crease, a one-two punch into the back of the net. Syracuse with a goal right before the end of the quarter. Rolling into the attacking third. Hughes with eight shots on goal, six of them tucked away. To the top of the crease, make it a seven nothing score in a matter of 29 seconds into the second quarter. Being here in the New River Valley. To the top of the crease and tucking one away. Virginia Tech finally on the board. Little dodges around and catapults one to the back of the net. Caroline Little, the sophomore for the Hokies with her fifth goal of the year. Adamson lets it rip and tucks it away. Adamson with goal number two in the contest, and Syracuse is up 8-2 to two with four minutes to go in the second quarter. Three ground ball wins already. That doubles her ground ball total. Shot low and punching it in. How about that shot from distance? Play. All right, third try does it. Natalie Smith lets it rip and tucks it away. Smith, the senior out of New York. Midway through the third quarter. Spin into the eight. Shot from distance. What a goal for the Hokies. Back within seven. She's not a quiet member of this offense. Hard defense by Virginia Tech on this possession. 20 in the shot clock. Ward all alone behind X. Spins around, rips it low, and tucks it to sleep. Emma Ward, one of the main assist girls for Syracuse, gets her first goal on the afternoon. Behind her right head. And the shot, it's a pass to the left side, a ball fake, and an easy goal for Adamson. How about that play? Drawn up to perfection for Syracuse. Off to X, and back to Emma Ward. Ward slices around, throws it low, and puts it in. Another wonderful shot from distance, and Emma Ward has her second goal of the afternoon. That is Syracuse scheduled to be on the court right after the Hokies. Dodging to the left side of the crease, Hokies in the all-white uniforms, looking to bring it back within single digits. Vergano has it outside the eight. Now at X, ball fake spinning around, top of the crease, and an easy shot to the back. Right in front of the crease, to get confirmation on who that is for Virginia Tech. Either way, a bad hit for them. Meanwhile, Baxter tucks one away for Syracuse easily. And the Orange are back up by 10. There. 
That was Jane Brewer, the midfielder for Virginia Tech. But now a free pass to the top of the box and a big goal for Virginia Tech. Grace New enters the score sheets. Rowley cocks it, rocks it, and puts it away. Rowley knocks it down, and Syracuse is back up by 10. But that is going to wrap things up. With three seconds to go, Virginia Tech will simply lob it upfield, and that is the final moment of this ball game. They had to fight off the Hokies a little bit after a strong effort through the second and third quarters, but Syracuse walks away comfortably on a pair of hat tricks from Baxter and Adamson.